this is how I start my makeup. I put some moisturizer on. This is Dermatology's Tinted Moisturizer, which I kind of love. So this is the first step, rubbing that all in. Okay, my moisturizer is rubbed in. And as you can see, I wear my trusted little cute um, leopard thing to hold my hair back and it, ignore my gross nails because I need to do them again, but I've been cleaning and stuff like that. So uh, next step for me is foundation or concealer, kind of a combination. Uh, lately, I've been using this skin foundation, which I love. They sent me a while ago and I, it's like lasts forever, goes on really well. Their brush is amazing. Looks like this, super soft skin. Check them out. And then I use a uh, grocery store easily bought, although I usually get it from Amazon or Target, infallible 24 hour full wear coverage. It's really a, um, it's a complete corrector full coverage concealer. Sometimes when I really feel like I need the coverage, I put it all over, but a lot of times I'm just putting it on some spots and things like that. So here we go. Okay, this is the skin stuff, but look at this, really nice. You don't even need very much. Covers super well. I've got to get a better setup for doing makeup because um, my table is not working for me to set my phone on, so I'm holding it. So this is foundation. My kitten is all over the place. And I'll show you how I do the concealer next. Okay, one of the biggest things with foundation is you gotta make sure you're blending it into your neck, into your hairline. So with the white hair that I have, it tends to get in there. I'll show you at the end the trick I do to make sure I wipe all that off so it's not in my hair. Next is concealer. Concealer you don't need much of, and I still do. A bit like the triangle, even though a lot of people don't. Eventually, maybe I won't, but I make sure I don't have too much wrinkling under my eye like some people can get. This is full face, of course, but this is still, I can usually do this pretty quickly if I'm having to do a photo shoot or something like that. I put it some down here. I put it here below where I'm going to do my contouring so I can kind of put a shadow below my cheekbone, a little brighter here. You'll get the gist of that when I'm done. And I usually blend with a brush, but I'm showing you right now all this with a finger. And eventually I'll wipe up around my eyebrows too, because that's of course the thing that it gets really messy. All right, I'm gonna contour next. Oh, my contouring, I use my Saint Beauty, which I still love this makeup. And I'll use this color here, the, let me see. Hold so on. I'm using the darker color. I'm gonna go in here and see, kind of create a jawline because I have never really had a defined jaw, but it's worse because I have some turkey neck going on. Which is the other big reason I'm working on the weight loss because this seems to go away more when I do, but weightlifting is helping a little bit. Anyway, you blend all this. You're just trying to create the illusion of a cute, more defined jaw that doesn't just run together. And of course you have to blend down. I'm sorry, my background is so not cute. I'm trying to figure out a better setup. I'm in my closet. I have this great, huge closet in this townhouse we live in, which is amazing. So it's kind of become my office too. But I need like a cute curtain to put behind it instead of all my clothes and jewelry hanging. Someday, it'll be cuter. All right, so then I just kind of blend this. One of my favorite features that I have is high cheekbones. I'm grateful for them. Um, but this also helps if you don't have them to create it a little bit more. <clears throat> and See how you blend? All this will continue to be blended in. A lot of people go through here too, here too, and then all the way around kind of. I sometimes do, I sometimes don't. If I'm wearing bangs, I don't even care because nobody's gonna see any of that. 
So, and then some people take the contour through here and here to kind of slenderize their nose. I am grateful for my nose because I have a pretty small button nose, so I don't have to do that too much. But you can see it makes a little bit of difference. So next I'm going to do a little bit of, um, let's see, highlighting maybe, which I use this Saint kind of light. I'm going to show you what I do. I just go in here and do that. See, again, kind of slenderizes the nose a bit. Gives it that cute little thing. And um, you do a little above your lip too. Kind of like that. Sometimes I do too much. It's okay. You just wipe it off. And then um, I do some in the corner of my eyes here for eyeshadow. A little pop of that. And then I'll do it on my cheeks after I do my blush. But I'm going to do my blush now. I've been using this Milani. I actually need another shade, but... This is kind of a peachier shade, and I like to have the option of peachy or pink, but I like this. And so I'm going to go in like this with one of my Saint brushes, which I love. These are actually mascara before they change to Saint, and I need new ones. But it all requires money, and you gotta have it to buy new things. So, I haven't, it's not been a priority for me since I have these. So see, I just kind of do this with my blush. <laughs> Why do I have that in my head? Baby mine, I used to sing that to my kids. When they were little, makes me want to cry. So that is the blush. And then I would go and just go ahead and do um, some of that highlighter here. Oh my gosh, my nails seriously are so red. This is a bit much, so I'm going to blend that. Wasn't paying attention. Again, a little bit much. So I'll just go like this. Blendy blend. So then see, kind of gives a little cute highlight. Dabby dab. Adorbs oh. for the eyes. I take a little bit of that, put it in here. This is real messy at the, and I'll blend of course. Oh, I'll stay like that. But it gives you a little pop to the eye and then I'm gonna do some brown shadows. And I just did some bronzer that was in my Saint Compact. Just all over blended it in so I could look a little sun-kissed. For my Morphe palette, which looks messy, but um, I'll probably do some lighter colors and some of these browns as I kind of like those. Actually, before that, this is what I do. I take this rag that I had from Norwex, grossly lick it. <laughs> But just to get it kind of wet, and I do this to get the makeup out of my hair. I'm sure you can use wipes. I just like, this one seems to grab it pretty quick. And pull all that out. See what I mean? Better. Oh, before the <clears throat> eyeshadow, I'm going to do an eyelash curler. Gently. Or I'm not ripping out my lashes. Because some do that to me. This is a cheapie, but it feels not too harsh, so it's good. Just gently curling them. Actually, I will do... No, we'll do eyeshadow. I just gotta find my stinking brush. Where is it? I magically lost, or tragically lost, my eyeshadow brush. What the heck? I just did a lip liner. It is Runway Rogues. It's a wrap. I love Runway Rogue. I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do the Sephora brand lipstick. It's kind of a peachy. Let's check it out. It is called, oh, Room Service. I guess that's the name. Sateen Cream Room Service. 64 is the number. This is a good one if you're tan, kind of. Isn't that cute? Cute. 
All right, I'm gonna try my other eyeshadow mm, brush. I also have to show you, I did some gloss. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. My daughter got me this lip gloss. Love it, smells amazing, feels amazing, super cute. Go get it. Okay, I guess I was not filming when I just thought I was. I come around here with eyeshadow just to make my eyes pop. I don't do eyeliner a whole lot anymore. Unless I'm just doing a little bit on the inside of my eye. Let's see, come around here. So I gotta blend all that. That's the brush I'm, can't find my blender brush. I'm gonna keep looking, figure out where I put it. So you just come around like that. And then you bring this around. And you're gonna blend all in. And I'll put a little lighter color here. Then I'll do my brows and mascara and be done. So it's not too crazy. Okay, I'm gonna try to blend that okay, out. Okay, I blended the eyeshadows in the pretty and did my mascara. This is roomy. I like it. And what I typically will do is take a little eyeliner. I'm gonna show you this. This is um, Revlon Colorstay eyeliner. I go right up in this waterline on the top. I just kind of make your eyes pop a little bit more. See? Next eyebrows. So, um, I've been using this little wet and wild thing. And what I've been doing is kind of like shaping out my eyebrows and then filling them in. It's not too brown that it doesn't match my hair. I mean, pretty much matches the brow that I have left. Because like I said, I never had crazy thick brows before. I'll fill the rest of that in. This is pretty much and, it. Uh, if you need any more information on the products, just comment or DM me.